As a teacher, if you're anything like me, you're probably getting ready for the next school year already. Despite the fact that nobody can actually tell us what that new year is going to look like. What we can be sure of is that part of it, at least, will most likely be online. So as we prepare to teach for the new normal, we need to think about how we can make our own materials to be most relevant and accessible online or off. Live Worksheets is a free program. Not only does it have a wealth of interactive, self-correcting worksheets organized according to subject, but it is a tool that you can use in order to take any of your best loved worksheets that you already have on your computer or scan them, the ones that you have on paper, and make them digital and make them interactive and self-correcting. You can share it with your students with a link. They can do them and they send it back to you automatically graded. It can also be incorporated into Google Classroom if you have that. So let's see how it works in a nutshell. I am making my first live worksheet, so let's see how long it takes me to figure this out. I'm going to go fish out the worksheet that I just made. Get started. Choose the file. Put it on my desktop. There we go. And upload. I'm going to make two different types here. I'm going to make one fill in and another one, multiple choice. So the first one is fill in. I draw a square and I fill in correct answer. And I'm gonna do that again here. I've been looking for the perfect present for my sister for three weeks, but I have not. Or and here I'm going to do a drop down. For the drop down, I have to do choose. Sorry, not drop down, multiple choice. Choose. But because it's multiple choice, I have to put an asterisk in front of the correct answer. Okay, next. I'll make this also choose. A teacher. Has 
Mine did. Okay, I have two options there. Again, choose. Okay. So I want to save this. I want to keep it private because it's just an example. Save. I'll open up my worksheet and I'll pretend I'm sending it to my student. Now I'm my student. Drop down. Israel has been trying. Teacher has been reminding, and we still forget. Forget. Okay, finish. So now I'm going to email the answers to my teacher. My full name. Group level. I don't know if that's necessary. My email. Send. My grader level. Alrighty. I wrote this in before, that's why it's popping up again. School subject, English. Now send. My answers have been sent to my teacher. All right. So I go in as a teacher, and I thought originally that I have to go to my email. But no, it doesn't come into my regular email, which is kind of a good thing because my email is so full and such a mess. I go into my mailbox for live worksheets, and here we go. I see the live worksheet from Moshe Pippik. Oh, bless. Moshe, you really need to study a little bit more. So those were just two of the options that you have fill in and multiple choice pull down. You could also make them drag and drop, join the different parts with lines. You can even make speaking exercises where the students have to record themselves with their microphone. The sheets can also be printed out if you are in school and kids prefer to use it that way, or if they're home and they want to fill it out at home and then take a picture and send it to you. I suggest you go in, register, play around with it. I hope this has been helpful. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe.